everyone and welcome to yet another video. Today I'm going to be trying out something I have never done before and that is going to be playing with UV resin. Um, I figured this would be a better beginner kind of uh, start than using the mixing resin. Um, I think it'd be a little more up my alley and I bought this little kit off of Amazon for about $20 which comes with three clear resins, um, some of these uh, twisty jump ring sort of attachments for adding jewelry bits to the top I suppose and a handful of really fun silicon molds. Um, I also had a UV lamp from uh, doing UV gel nails. I think I actually got this off of Wish because I was just trying to test it out. Um, it does a minute at one tap and two minutes at two taps and it has a USB backing. And I also bought this, which I believe was $12 for 15 different kinds of resin colorant. As you can see here, they're pretty tiny, but I do have a nice array of colors, all in fun um, fruit themed names. So now I'm just kind of playing around with what I might want to do first. Um, I kind of like the idea of doing these like long crystal vibes, um, but I've eventually decided that I was going to start with this one, um, this particular mold, because it's small and I figured um, I can get a pretty good idea of exactly how long I need to leave things under the lamp by starting with something smaller first. So I'll zoom in real close. And I removed the cap from the resin. There was no protective seal or anything I had to cut on these, which makes me casually nervous, but it's fine. Uh, you will also see a lot, and I mean a lot, of the back of my hand in this video because I'm still not an expert uh, cinematographer, apparently. Um, so I just filled this teeny tiny teardrop gem shaped mold. Um, and then I was like, ah, oh, great, I can add some color in here. And I was like, oh, I'll do like a sapphire vibe. So I... Um, Went to go squirt this in, realized I had to cut the tip, got a single drop in, and I was like, ah, maybe two drops, because I want it to be real dark. And boy, was this a mistake. So I added the drops directly to the resin and stirred it in. And right now it looks like a perfect little blue shade. Um, and it definitely looks blue before I cured it, but I stuck it under the lamp. I think I left it under there for 10 minutes just to um, be sure nothing was gonna be um, jiggly I suppose anymore or if liquid um, and it basically looks black um, I wish it would have stuck with the single drop or even like a half drop with some toothpicks um, so I tried to overcompensate on the next one I think uh, so this one was a journey because it's incredibly difficult to fill because it's so tiny and the nozzle is like about the same size I eventually figured out that if I hold it back far enough um, I can drop it like straight to the bottom um, it just takes a little bit more precision so I use a lot of uh, toothpicks here um, trying to clean things up I made a handful of spills some banging on the table to get it to sink to the bottom and I eventually decided I was gonna use this peach to color it and to avoid my last mistake I decided to drop it onto this paint palette first, of course, after, again, cutting off the tip. Quick snip, and I placed two little drops into the palette. One, two. And so I tried to add some onto the toothpick and use that to color the insides. Um, as you can see, nothing happened. So I was like, okay, maybe I could try a little more scooping action until I ended up deciding, fine, I should have just dropped it straight into the mold in the first place. So casual regret, it's fine. Um, and of course I, I spilled because I, it wouldn't be me if I didn't. Um, so I wiped that up real quick, just with some tissues. And we're back in business. So once I thought I had it at an appropriate kind of level and uh, appropriate color, I think I have this like ombre thing going on. Um, that's when I decided to cure it. So I did four minutes over the top so that I could lay it on its side and do two minutes each on the side, also resulting in about 10 minutes that I let this cure. Um, obviously curing the top first so nothing would spill out. And here was the fun part, which was trying to actually get it out of this mold um, because you can't like totally fold it in on itself. So I used a toothpick to kind of release it from the sides a little bit and um, I was really nervous I was going to puncture the mold actually, but thankfully I didn't. So I released it from the sides and made sure I got uh, a good amount like cracked off of the top there before I started pushing from the bottom like like a push pop or a go-gurt. Um, 
it was difficult. It, it took a while, but I did eventually get it there until I had just enough to yank out of the top. Not quite there yet, just a little more push popping. A little jiggling until finally I was able to slide it right out. And yeah, that's what it looks like. A lot of bubbles, I won't lie. Um, I also used a very simple nail file to kind of file off the raggedy edges off the top, um, and that worked out pretty well. No complaints here. But the last thing I ended up doing was using these little pendant molds. I'm starting with this tiny oval one at the side. I wanted to experiment putting some things inside the resin for this one. Um, I was like, oh, I'll add some color and then I'll add some glitter, not really totally thinking about um, what this was going to look like in the end. Um, so I ended up just going for the glitter first and uh, only glitter, and that was plenty to kind of color the entire thing gold, basically. Um, I really wanted to get some of those little tiny uh, flowers to suspend in there, but um, I just don't have the money right now. I'll be real with you. So I'm making sure to get everything in there all around the uh, little hole there for attaching jump rings and turning it into a pendant, really. So the to toothpick served its purpose. A wonderful tool uh, and then I wanted to experiment a little bit with um, the circular one next to it and uh, kind of marbling the dye inside instead of totally mixing it in I think I over mixed this like first drop I'm about to do here and so I went back in a little bit later with the lime I think this is clover I did clover and lime because I, I like green a lot um, so I started kind of dotting it in and, and swirling it around and then I was like man this doesn't really look like a design and that's when I popped in the lime Well, here are the results of my first time using resin. Um, overall, I kind of like the whole experience of it. I think it's a quick little way to make sweet little decals and um, decorative pieces. I definitely would love to get more molds for this and I can see just absolutely tons of uses for this. Um, I actually took this one and uh, stuck one of the twisty hooks in it so I can use it as a charm and maybe give it to somebody as a gift. I kind of like the little ombre effect of it even though um, I definitely wanted the pink to go all the way up. Um, I feel like the difficult part of that one again was definitely um, just trying to get everything in and not overflow. Um, this is the very first one I did. Uh, this is surprisingly blue. Um, I know it's super difficult to tell. I have to wonder if maybe I shine some light on it, it would look bluer, but um, I definitely learned here to sparingly use <laughs> the um, the dyes. This too much blue definitely ended up looking a little bit more black than I wanted. And this was me kind of testing out how the color suspends. Um, the one thing I haven't totally figured out yet is these air bubbles, um, but overall I definitely foresee myself using this in the future. I think these are really cute little little pieces. I liked the glitter. I love the idea of suspending things in the resin as well. Um, I definitely maybe want to get some tiny flowers or something and create one of these with some flower pieces in it um, or even like larger shaped glitter. Um, I actually recently just gave away my collection of shaped glitter um, as I was trying to kind of make my way through the summer before I got my job out of college. Um, so I definitely need to stock up once again. Um, I might put some orders in on Amazon and see what else I can do with this. Um, overall, I liked the experience. I definitely, I'm glad that I spent the money on this because I think this definitely opens up a really cool door, I suppose, for jewelry making and some potential gifts for the future uh, for my friends and family for holidays and and all that jazz. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, then feel free to tune in again next Sunday at noon for another crafty video. And I will see you then. Bye!